Hey everyone, what's up? It's the Emperor Bro here. All right, so uh, real quick, I wrote a little. Uh, let me make sure the audio is recording. Yes, it is. All right, I wrote a little web loader plugin thing. Uh, if you ever have any issues with uh, any WebGL scripts or whatever, this hopefully will fix it. Basically, when you play test your game, it will start up an HTTP server and launch into web browser mode. And it does so, uh, yeah, in a way that, ignore that, by the way, that's, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's not the plugin that did that. That's my unhydro thing. I was testing masking. So let me disable that real quick and reload this. Yeah, it's pretty cool, though. Uh, if you have dual monitors, this is a great setup because you can have the game over here in one monitor. You can press F4 and F3 to go full screen. Uh, F3 scales it. I don't know why by default it doesn't scale. But anyways, yeah, I press F3 once and F4 once. And now you can just control R to reload whenever you want and just re-go full screen. Yeah, and you shouldn't have any issues with WebGL stuff. And as you've seen earlier, I have an option here. Oops, that is not the editor. But yeah, this is like the literally the ultimate dual monitor thing. Because you can make your changes and then quickly just reload without having to... Well, you can always do that anyways. But you don't have to wait for the window to open, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I mostly did this because uh, someone who purchased the uh, retro DLC thing was having issues with WebGL. So I was like, alright, well, we about, to, we about to solve this, bucko. And how we do that is, yeah, we just do this. And you can allow debugging. And so, like, when you save and reload, now you can do your whole F9 shenanigans and walk through walls with control, all that shenanigans uh, to debug and whatnot. So, yeah, lots of cool stuff. Um, if you are having issues with any of your plugins that are not working right because of, like, your version not supporting WebGL for some reason, then this could be the perfect alternative for you. Just make sure your browser's updated and you should be good.